Hi, students. I'm going to show you how to use Burlington English on your computer. We're going to learn how to log in and find your course. So to use Burlington on your computer, you can use Google Chrome. There are other browsers you can use. Um, this is a good one for Burlington. So I will open it. And then in the top, I'm going to write the website. And I'm going to write this bigger down here. It's burlingtonenglish.com. So that's the website. That's how we find Burlington. And then um, you'll see a small blue box on the website. It says BE login. I will click this. And then here it will show username and password. So I'm going to type my username. The username your teacher will give you, your username and password. Make sure that the letters are all small. So make sure that it's not like this. They should be all small. And um, there's no space. So no spaces anywhere. Also, the username is usually um, different than your than your name. So make sure that it's spelled correctly um, what the teacher has given you, the username. And then your password, you would write here. So um, your password, you, if you would like to see what you typed, you can click this I here. And now I can see my password to check that the spelling is right. And that will um, help if you have any problems with the password or username. So then I would press log in. Now I will see um, this message. I am using Burlington English at school or away from school. Most of the time you will use it away from school, especially if you are doing homework. Um, if your teacher uh, tells you to use it in class, then you could choose at school. But usually you should choose away from school. So always the second one, away from school. And then um, there are many different boxes. You want to look for courses. 
So here we can see courses. This one has your homework and um, it's the main part of Burlington. And there are many different things that we can look at, but courses, the dark blue courses is important. So I will click this one, courses. And now I will see the different courses. So these are for different classes at APDC from the beginning all the way to the more advanced, more difficult level zero, one, all the way to level six, getting more difficult. Your teacher will tell you which one, which color, um, and you can see very small basics, low beginners, high beginners, low intermediate, um, all the way to the advanced. There are also other courses below that maybe you will use. And I will click on the purple one. Then you will see um, student lessons. So I will click this one. And then there are many different um, topics. These are the main topics we can see here. And if I click on one, like number three, getting a job, I can see all the different lessons. So to see this, the lessons, just click on the blue bar, the blue box that has the topic. And then each of these is a different lesson. So you can click to go to that lesson. So that's, that's in your courses. If I want to go back, um, it's better to use the arrow in Burlington English. So you can see here that there's an arrow in Burlington English. And also there's an arrow in your browser. When you are using Burlington, you should use the Burlington arrow. Otherwise, you may not, um, you may go back to the login or the beginning. So if I go back, I can see again, student lessons. There's some vocabulary practice. The vocabulary practice you can look at more with your teacher, but we have all the same topics like getting a job and then different lessons. And then there's a place to practice the words. And you can also do different activities with the words. So this takes some career. The vocabulary practice you can learn about later, but um, you can also take a look. 
because they are different games. The student lessons is where many of the, the homeworks are for your class. So now I'm going to go back. And then when I go back, I can see all the different courses, many different levels. And then this is towards the beginning where we found the courses, courses. So you can see so many things on Burlington and to find the homework, you go to courses, find your classes um, course, and then look for the student lessons. There are also um, a few different things you can see. One is readers, so this is different books. And you can look at all of these different books. If I want to open the book, I would press continue. And now I can see the book and I can turn the pages. And if I click, click, I can make it bigger. There is a lot of bread, meat and vegetables. And also I can listen. That's the, the readers. And there's also other things um, to look at in Burlington. Um, but that's, those are some of the main things, how to log in, and how to find the courses. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy using Burlington.